Hello friends, I'm Parwiz and this is our fourth lesson in PyQt5 GUI development. In this video we're going to talk about QT Designer or we can call it PyQt5 Designer. Now for the simple codes, uh, for the simple designs, there is no problem, you can uh, do your design by coding. Now when you're going to build complex applications for that, you need a designer. Luckily for the PyQt5, we have QT Designer. Using Qt Designer, we can separate our design from the coding. Uh, so the first thing you need, you need to install uh, this library because by default, uh, when you're going to install PyQt5, we don't have any Qt Designer. So you need to install PyQt5 tools. And you can see it's the latest version and the latest release of PyQt5 tools. Now after installation of this, uh, you need to open this uh, so you can use uh, uh, if you're using PyCharm you can use uh, for example you can use PyQt5 you can write PyQt5 designer so now uh, okay now you can see that we have our designer in here you can write this in here uh, in the terminal of the PyCharm ID or you can just use your uh, computer terminal for doing this you can just write PyQt5 designer so now we have our designer and uh, 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 this is the type of uh, window that you want to create so for example dialog with button uh, with two buttons and dialog with button right dialog without button uh, we're going to use widget uh, like this and I'm going to just click on the create uh, so now we have our Qt designer in here with a simple window so now let's add a button in here so uh, from here you can change uh, the geometry you can change the window name and uh, there are different options that you can use for example size policy uh, minimum size maximum size uh, you can change the font uh, the window title so its form and uh, for example uh, it should be uh, I think it's from here let me just say window yeah you can see uh, by QT5 window and uh, also you can see that this is the opacity uh, you can set the tooltip for the window and uh, there are different options that you can just work with that so a style sheet you can add a style sheet for the window uh, you can just uh, add your CSS codes in here or you can just add a color for example I want to add a yellow color in here for the window you can see this is RGB but we are receiving invalid but you need to add your CSS codes in here uh, for the designing and styling there you should add QT uh, CSS so now I'm going to add a button in here a push button and we have different widgets in here uh, you can work with these widgets uh, so we want to add a push button drag and drop in here and also for the every widget we have uh, different options uh, that you can use so this is the text queue push button you can change this from here or you can just double click in here and uh, I'm going to just say click me and this is the icon size you can change this uh, from here you can add a width uh, 48 and also 48 width and height and uh, uh, you can do different options in here now uh, we have created this window uh, with a button in Qt Designer. Now, how we can interact this with the Python? There are two ways that you can do. The first way is that you can just uh, 
load this UI file now if you save this uh, let me just click on the save you can see that it is a dot UI file for example I'm going to call it uh, uh, my button dot UI so it is a dot UI it means that it is a user interface file uh, so the first way is that you can just uh, load this UI file uh, the second way is that you need to convert your this dot UI file to dot uh, py file to Python file I will show you this um, so first we're going to just work on loading on the UI file so I'm going to just save this and wherever you let me just save it in here uh, I have a my button but I want to just replace this now I need to copy my saved file in my Python so let me just add this in here let me paste it so my button.ui and you can see that this is my UI file and it's like uh, it's XML and uh, the width and height of the window the title we have uh, this is the X and Y position uh, like this and we have a button in here so it's property name text and click me and this is the width and height of the button so now we need to uh, load this uh, uh, UI file I'm going to just create a new Python file in here I'm going to just call it load uh, or we are going to just change this to uh, load UI load UI so load ui.py okay now in here we need some imports so from pyqt5.qt widgets we are going to import q application and uh, we are going to import q widget so uh, also from pyqt5 we need to import uic and also import sys Uh, we're going to create our class in here I'm going to just call it UI and it extends from Q widget so this is my init method or constructor we can tell it this is my super dot init now in here uh, you need to load uh, your UI file so we can just say uh, UIC dot load UI and in here you need to add your file name so it's my button dot UI and the parent is self uh, now after loading this uh, we are going to just uh, in here we want to just create the object of Q application in here uh, we can leave it empty like this and in here I'm going to just create the object of my uh, uh, UI and we can show this so window dot show you can do it in here or you can just say self dot show and there's no problem you will receive the same result uh, so window dot show and in here I'm going to just uh, start my loop so app dot execute uh, so now we are going to run this uh, now you can see we have our window in here with the button so you can see that how easily we have designed our uh, our main design in the Qt designer and after that we have uh, loaded our UI file now how you can access to for example uh, if you want to use signals for example if I click on here I want to print something in the console now how you can do that uh, so for this uh, in this way that we have loaded our UI file for this we need to find our child uh, so for this the first thing we need we are going to just import the Q push button in here so Q push button and uh, we want to find our widgets in here we can just say self dot button 
or there will be not necessary to use solve in here I think okay so we are going to just use button and we want to say solve dot find uh, child and this is the child it's a uh, type of Q push button and in here you need to add the name of the child in here or we can see the name of the our, the name of our button uh, if you see my button dot UI the name is push button now we can just add this uh, let me just uh, we can copy this and we can add this in here so push button like this okay and now we are going to just create a method in here so I'm going to just say uh, clicked btn and we want to just print a button uh, clicked like this and now we need to connect this we can just say self dot or we can just say button dot clicked dot connect and this is self dot clicked btn and now let me just run this if I click this button clicked click me button clicked button clicked so this was the first way now the second way is that you can convert your dot UI file in uh, Python in dot py using py y uic5 module now if you see uh, where you have installed your python so I'm using python 3.7 and the scripts if we come down we have py y uic5 dot exe now using this module you can convert your dot ui file in the python file and after that you can use that file so now uh, the first thing uh, the first way is that you can just copy your dot uh, ui file in here and and here you can just run your terminal uh, so this was the second way uh, the uh, this was the first way now the second way is that you can just if you're using PyCharm ID uh, from here we are going to just find uh, let me just external and from the Python 3.7 we have scripts and in here if you see uh, we have uh, pi y uic5 in here uh, where is it yeah you can see that this is in here now you can just copy your this uh, uh, my button dot ui let me copy this and add this in the scripts folder so it's my button dot ui and uh, after adding this let me find pi y uic5 and in here I want to open a terminal now we can simply say pi y uic5 after that you need to uh, add your uh, the name of your ui file so it is a qm uh, let me check that it's copied I have copied or not okay let me just copy this once again copy and in the scripts folder we need to paste this okay yeah, all right okay so now we can just say my button dot UI dash O this is output <clears throat> and after that you need to give the Python file name that you want so for this I want to say uh, uh, my or we can just say button example dot pi and x and hit enter okay now now we're going to check our scripts folder for the file now you can see that we have our button example in here and now you can just simply let me cut this and paste it in my uh, folder so now this is button example and
so I think it's not the file that I want yeah this yeah this is the file yeah now you can see that for the created by PyQt5 UI code generator and uh, this is our UI form and this is the our button and uh, now if I run this you can see that I am receiving the same result now how you can add signals to the button uh, in this example so for this uh, first we are going to just create a method in here uh, I'm going to just call it diff clicked uh, btn and I'm going to just print in here uh, for example uh, button was clicked and now we can simply connect this and here we can say self dot push button dot uh, clicked dot connect and we need to add our and we need to add our method in here so it is self dot clicked btn okay now if I do click me button was clicked button was clicked button was clicked so thank you guys uh, I will add the source code to the video description you can just check my blog my website uh, geekscooters.com and you can get all the source code from there